Radical, Wikipedia Audio In chemistry, a radical is an atom, molecule, or ion that has an unpaired valence electron. With some exceptions, these unpaired electrons make free radicals highly chemically reactive towards other substances, or even towards themselves, their molecules will often spontaneously dimerize or polymerize if they come in contact with each other. Most radicals are reasonably stable only at very low concentrations in inert media or in a vacuum. A notable example of a free radical is the hydroxyl radical, a molecule that has one unpaired electron on the oxygen atom. Two other examples are triplet oxygen and triplet carbon which have two unpaired electrons. In contrast, the hydroxyl anion. Historically, the term radical in radical theory was also used for bound parts of the molecule, especially when they remain unchanged in reactions. These are now called functional groups. For example, methyl alcohol was described as consisting of a methyl radical and a hydroxyl radical. Neither are radicals in the modern chemical sense, as they are permanently bound to each other and have no unpaired, reactive electrons, however, they can be observed as radicals in mass spectrometry when broken apart by irradiation with energetic electrons. In a modern context the first organic free radical identified was triphenylmethyl radical, 3C. This species was discovered by Moses Gomberg in 1900 at the University of Michigan, USA. In 1933 Morris Kirrash and Frank Mayo proposed that free radicals were responsible for anti-Markovnikov addition of hydrogen bromide to allyl bromide. In chemical equations, free radicals are frequently denoted by a dot placed immediately to the right of the atomic symbol or molecular formula as follows. Radical reaction mechanisms use single-headed arrows to depict the movement of single electrons. The homolytic cleavage of the breaking bond is drawn with a fish hook arrow to distinguish from the usual movement of two electrons depicted by a standard curly arrow. The second electron of the breaking bond also moves to pair up with the attacking radical electron, this is not explicitly indicated in this case. Reversible addition fragmentation chain transfer, atom transfer radical polymerization, nitroxide mediated polymerization. Free radicals also take part in radical addition and radical substitution as reactive intermediates. Chain reactions involving free radicals can usually be divided into three distinct processes. These are initiation, propagation, and termination. The formation of radicals may involve the breaking of covalent bonds by homolysis, a process that requires significant amounts of energy. Such energies are known as homolytic bond dissociation energies, usually abbreviated as delta H degree. Splitting H2 into 2H, for example, requires a delta H degree of plus 435 kJ mole minus 1, while splitting Cl2 into 2 Cl requires a delta H degree of plus 243 kJ mole minus 1. Electron spin resonance Depiction in chemical reactions the energy needed to break a specific bond between two atoms known as bond energy is a result of all the relative attractions and repulsions between the atoms of the molecule, however the most relevant are the bond's atoms and the immediate neighbors. As an approximation the most important parameters that influence the bonding between two atoms in a molecule are the mutual energy match and overlap of covalent orbitals and the repulsion between non-bonding orbitals. Likewise, radicals requiring more energy to form are less stable than those requiring less energy. An additional barrier can be the selection rule. Propagation, however is very exothermic. 
Radical formation through homolytic bond cleavage most often happens between two atoms of similar electronegativity, in organic chemistry, this is often between the OO bond in peroxide species or between ON bonds. Radicals may also be formed by single electron oxidation or reduction of an atom or molecule. An example is the production of superoxide by the electron transport chain. Early studies in organometallic chemistry especially F. A. Panath and K. Honfeld's studies of tetraalkyl lead species during the 1930s supported the heterolytic fission of bonds in a radical-based mechanism. Although radical ions do exist, most species are electrically neutral. Although radicals are generally short-lived due to their reactivity, there are long-lived radicals. These are categorized as follows. The prime example of a stable radical is molecular dioxygen. Another common example is nitric oxide. Organic radicals can be long-lived if they occur in a conjugated pi system, such as the radical derived from alpha tocopherol. There are also hundreds of examples of thiazyl radicals, which show low reactivity and remarkable thermodynamic stability with only a very limited extent of pi resonance stabilization. Persistent radical compounds are those whose longevity is due to steric crowding around the radical center, which makes it physically difficult for the radical to react with another molecule. Examples of these include Gomberg's triphenylmethyl radical, Freemis salt 2 no, aminoxyls, such as tempo, tempole, nitronyl nitroxides, and azophenylenyls and radicals derived from PTM and TTM methyl radical. Persistent radicals are generated in great quantity during combustion, and may be responsible for the oxidative stress resulting in cardiopulmonary disease and probably cancer that has been attributed to exposure to airborne fine particles. Deradicals are molecules containing two radical centers. Multiple radical centers can exist in a molecule. Atmospheric oxygen naturally exists as a deradical in its ground state as triplet oxygen. The low reactivity of atmospheric oxygen is due to its deradical state. Non-radical states of dioxygen are actually less stable than the deradical. The relative stability of the oxygen deradical is primarily due to the spin-forbidden nature of the triplet-singlet transition required for it to grab electrons, i.e., oxidize. The deradical state of oxygen also results in its paramagnetic character, which is demonstrated by its attraction to an external magnet. Deradicals can also occur in metal oxo complexes, lending themselves for studies of spin forbidden reactions in transition metal chemistry. Radical alkyl intermediates are stabilized by similar physical processes to carbocations, as a general rule. The more substituted the radical center is, the more stable it is. This directs their reactions. Thus, formation of a tertiary radical is favored over secondary, which is favored over primary. Likewise, radicals next to functional groups such as carbonyl, nitril, and ether are more stable than tertiary alkyl radicals. Formation Persistence and stability Radicals attack double bonds. However, unlike similar ions, such radical reactions are not as much directed by electrostatic interactions. For example, the reactivity of nucleophilic ions with alpha-beta unsaturated compounds is directed by the electron withdrawing effect of the oxygen resulting in a partial positive charge on the carbonyl carbon. There are two reactions that are observed in the ionic case, the carbonyl is attacked in a direct addition to carbonyl, or the vinyl is attacked in conjugate addition, and in either case, the charge on the nucleophile is taken by the oxygen. Radicals add rapidly to the double bond, 
and the resulting alpha radical carbonyl is relatively stable, it can couple with another molecule or be oxidized. Nonetheless, the electrophilic slash neutrophilic character of radicals has been shown in a variety of instances. One example is the alternating tendency of the copolymerization of maleic anhydride and styrene. Stable radicals Persistent radicals Diradicals Reactivity Combustion In intramolecular reactions, precise control can be achieved despite the extreme reactivity of radicals. In general, radicals attack the closest reactive site the most readily. Therefore, when there is a choice, a preference for five-membered rings is observed, four-membered rings are too strained, and collisions with carbon six or more atoms away in the chain are infrequent. Triplet carbenes and nitrines, which are diradicals, have distinctive chemistry. A familiar free radical reaction is combustion. The oxygen molecule is a stable diradical, best represented by OO. Because spins of the electrons are parallel, this molecule is stable. While the ground state of oxygen is this unreactive spin unpaired diradical, an extremely reactive spin paired state is available. For combustion to occur, the energy barrier between these must be overcome. This barrier can be overcome by heat, requiring high temperatures. The triplet-singlet transition is also forbidden. This presents an additional barrier to the reaction. It also means molecular oxygen is relatively unreactive at room temperature except in the presence of a catalytic heavy atom such as iron or copper. Polymerization Combustion consists of various radical chain reactions that the singlet radical can initiate. The flammability of a given material strongly depends on the concentration of free radicals that must be obtained before initiation and propagation reactions dominate leading to combustion of the material. Once the combustible material has been consumed, Termination reactions again dominate and the flame dies out. As indicated, promotion of propagation or termination reactions alters flammability. For example, because lead itself deactivates free radicals in the gasoline air mixture, tetraethyl lead was once commonly added to gasoline. This prevents the combustion from initiating in an uncontrolled manner or in unburnt residues or premature ignition. When a hydrocarbon is burned, a large number of different oxygen radicals are involved. Initially, hydroperoxyl radicals are formed. These then react further to give organic hydroperoxides that break up into hydroxyl radicals. In addition to combustion, Many polymerization reactions involve free radicals. As a result, many plastics, enamels, and other polymers are formed through radical polymerization. For instance, drying oils and alkyd paints harden due to radical cross-linking by oxygen from the atmosphere. Recent advances in radical polymerization methods, known as living radical polymerization, include. These methods produce polymers with a much narrower distribution of molecular weights. The most common radical in the lower atmosphere is molecular dioxygen. Photodissociation of source molecules produces other free radicals. In the lower atmosphere, the most important examples of free radical production are the photodissociation of nitrogen dioxide to give an oxygen atom and nitric oxide, which plays a key role in smog formation and the photodissociation of ozone to give the excited oxygen atom O. The net and return reactions are also shown. In the upper atmosphere, 
A particularly important source of radicals is the photodissociation of normally unreactive chlorofluorocarbons by solar ultraviolet radiation, or by reactions with other stratospheric constituents. These reactions give off the chlorine radical, Cl, which reacts with ozone in a catalytic chain reaction ending in ozone depletion and regeneration of the chlorine radical allowing it to re-participate in the reaction. Such reactions are believed to be the primary cause of depletion of the ozone layer, and this is why the use of chlorofluorocarbons as refrigerants has been restricted. Atmospheric radicals Free radicals play an important role in a number of biological processes. Many of these are necessary for life such as the intracellular killing of bacteria by phagocytic cells such as granulocytes and macrophages. Researchers have also implicated free radicals in certain cell signaling processes, known as redox signaling. Some of these signaling molecules involve the free radical induced peroxidation of tissue stores of polyunsaturated fatty acids such as linoleic acid, arachidonic acid, and decosahexaionic acid. For example, free radical attack of linoleic acid produces a series of 13 hydroxyoctate cationoic acids and 9 hydroxyoctate cationoic acids which may act to regulate localized tissue inflammatory and slash or healing responses, pain perception, and the proliferation of malignant cells. Free radical attacks on arachidonic acid and decosahexaionic acid produce a similar but broader array of signaling products. By a DPPH method on free radical inhibitor abilities of the methanolic extracts of plant sample of cannabis sativa, were found to be 52.98%, where those of ascorbic acid is 80.76% and quercetin 72.13% respectively. Cannabis sativa showed that extracts have the proton donating ability and could serve as free radical inhibitor or scavengers, acting possibly as primary antioxidants. In biology, the two most important oxygen-centered free radicals are superoxide and hydroxyl radical. They derive from molecular oxygen under reducing conditions. However, because of their reactivity, these same free radicals can participate in unwanted side reactions resulting in cell damage. Excessive amounts of these free radicals can lead to cell injury and death, which may contribute to many diseases such as cancer, stroke, myocardial infarction, diabetes, and major disorders. Many forms of cancer are thought to be the result of reactions between free radicals and DNA, potentially resulting in mutations that can adversely affect the cell cycle and potentially lead to malignancy. Some of the symptoms of aging such as atherosclerosis are also attributed to free radical-induced oxidation of cholesterol to 7-ketocholesterol. In addition free radicals contribute to alcohol-induced liver damage, perhaps more than alcohol itself. Free radicals produced by cigarette smoke are implicated in inactivation of alpha-1 antitrypsin in the lung. This process promotes the development of emphysema. Free radicals may also be involved in Parkinson's disease senile and drug-induced deafness, schizophrenia, and Alzheimer's. The classic free radical syndrome, the iron storage disease hemochromatosis, is typically associated with a constellation of free radical-related symptoms including movement disorder, psychosis, skin pigmentary melanin abnormalities, deafness, arthritis, and diabetes mellitus. The free radical theory of aging proposes that free radicals underlie the aging process itself. Similarly, the process of metohormesis suggests that repeated exposure to free radicals may extend lifespan. Reactive oxygen species Loose definition of radicals 
Diagnostics Because free radicals are necessary for life, the body has a number of mechanisms to minimize free radical induced damage and to repair damage that occurs, such as the enzymes superoxide dismutase, catalase, glutathione peroxidase, and glutathione reductase. In addition, antioxidants play a key role in these defense mechanisms. These are often the three vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin E and polyphenol antioxidants. Furthermore, there is good evidence indicating that bilirubin and uric acid can act as antioxidants to help neutralize certain free radicals. Bilirubin comes from the breakdown of red blood cells contents, while uric acid is a breakdown product of purines. Too much bilirubin, though, can lead to jaundice, which could eventually damage the central nervous system, while too much uric acid causes gout. Reactive oxygen species or ROS are species such as superoxide, hydrogen peroxide and hydroxyl radical, commonly associated with cell damage. ROS form as a natural byproduct of the normal metabolism of oxygen and have important roles in cell signaling. Oxybenzone has been found to form free radicals in sunlight, and therefore may be associated with cell damage as well. This only occurred when it was combined with other ingredients commonly found in sunscreens, like titanium oxide and octylmethoxacinamate. ROS attacked the polyunsaturated fatty acid, linoleic acid, to form a series of 13 hydroxyoctate cardianoic acid and 9 hydroxyoctate cardianoic acid products that serve as signaling molecules that may trigger responses that counter the tissue injury which caused their formation. ROS attacks other polyunsaturated fatty acids e.g. arachidonic acid and dicosahexaionic acid, to produce a similar series of signaling products. In most fields of chemistry, the historical definition of radicals contends that the molecules have non-zero spin. However, in fields including spectroscopy, chemical reaction, and astrochemistry, the definition is slightly different. Gerhard Herzberg who won the Nobel Prize for his research into the electron structure and geometry of radicals, suggested a looser definition of free radicals, any transient species. The main point of his suggestion is that there are many chemically unstable molecules that have zero spin, such as C2, C3, CH2, and so on. This definition is more convenient for discussions of transient chemical processes and astrochemistry, therefore researchers in these fields prefer to use this loose definition. Free radical diagnostic techniques include 